Hi, I'm Greg, tie in here at Angler's All. I'm going to tie a pattern tonight called the Darth Betis. It's a pattern that I've had in my box for many years, probably about eight years. Finally, some friends who've been fishing it as well encouraged me to send it in to Umpqua. They, they finally took that, so I'm really excited that it's going to be in their catalog for 2017, and I'd like to share that with you right now. All right, so the hook we're going to be using tonight is a 2488, a little short shanked hook. And I like putting my hooks in the vise so that I can still see the barb of the hook. Kind of gives me a reference point on uh, where to start and stop my thread many a times. Um, the thread we're using tonight is some Uni ADOT. It's uh, camel brown. And then uh, halfway through the fly, I'm going to switch to some red ADOT. This fly is going to have a red head at the end. And uh, I'll explain a little bit about that towards the end. So start thread, there's about 50% points. So maybe about 75 on this hook. Do my little jam knot. And then we're going to go right in and uh, attach some wire. This is some extra small UTC wire. Just going to lay it right in front of the hook. Make a couple wraps there, or I should say right in front of my thread. And then I can scooch this backwards so that on my side I'm seeing that that thread or that wire is right even with my tie-in point. I'm going to tie in this wire so that it's right on the side of the hook. I'm just going to come right past the barb a little bit so that my body is, when I mount my, my tail, everything's going to be going down just a pinch. Tail is uh, going to consist of some tailing material from Whiting Farms, a little tailing pack. This feather is a Coq de Leon. It's known for its stiffness and its uh, nice length. I'm just going to grab quite a few tips here. Um, I find that if I don't do enough, the tail just kind of disappears once it gets wet. So I'm going to grab those by the tip and then grab the top of the stem, just pull everything off. It should ensure that all of these feathers stay even. Lay that in at about a 45 degree angle. My length is about half the length of the body. And then I'm just going to do one nice little soft wrap. All those feathers roll right on top. And then once I feel good about where everything is sitting, I can just continue forward right up to my tie-in point so that my body stays nice and even. There's no bumps or lumps going on. Now with my thread, I'm just going to work it back. And I'm just going to make sure everything is covered with my thread. At this point, if you would like, you can certainly build in just a little slight carrot shape taper with your thread. If your thread's a little ropey, just counter spin it, flattens that out, and I can go in there and uh, make things a little cleaner. Not too concerned with uh, completely covering all those threads if it's a little too lumpy because I'm going to come in here next put just a little small drop of clear cure goo this is the hydro and then I'm just going to work that into the body if you get a little too much on there just go ahead and touch it up with your fingers I'm going to move this just a little bit to the side here so that I can make sure I'm getting that far side. 
Once I'm satisfied with that, let's go ahead and sap that with our light. And then grab my wire and then start ribbing up this body. If you get a little bit more taper than you want and this wire wants to move on you, just more tension. Just hold that wire as tight as you can and uh, it'll come right into place. Helicopter that off, it'll break right off. And then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and change my thread colors. So I'm just going to put my thread in there, capture my other color, and just cut that right off. Now at this point, we can do our wing case, which is some flashback material that's been dyed black. This material is available from uh, Hairline. Capture that and then come backwards so that we have about a 50-50, actually about 60-40% on my uh, proportions of my fly. Now at this point I want to put in my legging material which is this Vivas Irish thread. I just put that around my thread, bring my thread right up to the top, and then I can just go ahead and wrap it right back into place. It makes it really durable too. There's no way that's going to pull out. <clears throat> you might make sure that when you tie this in, you go right back to where your wing case is tied in. Get ourselves a little dubbing next for the thorax. This dubbing is uh, some super fine dry fly dubbing. Again, you've probably heard me say this before, but the key to dubbing is just a little bit of dubbing on a lot of thread. And you can see I'm just pulling just a little wisp of this off. Spin it on. And I spin this on pretty tight. And you can see that's compressed quite nicely. Now I'm going to start my wraps of dubbing about one eye width back from the rear of the eye. So that's going to give me enough space so I can finish this fly off and create a head without uh, running out of space here. I'm going to grab the legging material, separate it so that it folds straight over the top, not crisscrossing. Make two wraps onto that bare hook right there. Grab my far piece first. Pull it straight back alongside the hook. Make two wraps backwards, securing it on the side of the hook. Then I'll do the same thing on my side. Pull it straight to the side, make one wrap, and then straight to the front. So right here, this little base here, that's what's going to creep my head here when I'm all done. Pull this uh, wing case over, maybe two wraps at the most. Pull the wing case back, and I'm just going to wrap right in that section. That I kind of had saved underneath when there was a bare hook to make a nice little head. Three wraps should do it. Tighten this up so you're ready for your next fly. Make sure it's tight. I always like kind of pulling backwards. Many times I'll hear that thread actually pop into place. Come up here, just barely nip this, and that'll just break right off. 
And then uh, all I got to do is trim these legs. I normally trim them just past the length of the wing case. So now my proportions are all correct. Both legs are the same length on both sides. And that's a Darth Betas. A uh, little red head. Most of the uh, Betas nymphs I've noticed in, in a fish's throat whenever I do a little stomach pump that uh, usually about 80% of them have these little red bulbous heads, maybe even rusty brown heads. And uh, from talking to some uh, entomologists, uh, they've been they've told me that those are all the males. So I don't know why the fish are. Uh, uh, I don't think they're picking on the males. I just believe that uh, um, something about that little red head gets their attention, and that's why they eat more of them. So. That's the Darth Betas. I hope you uh, can tie some up and enjoy fishing them. Let me know uh, what your results are. Thank you for watching.